Hey everybody, it's Donna, and this is a continuation of if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And it's a pick a card day, so you want to pick a stone. So I'm going to try to do this the best I can with this. But this is, um, if you like stones and you want to know which one it is, this is a, um, it's a striped amethyst. I have an angelite, and this is the Sputnik stone, an aragonite. So I get, I get another quick look. And don't overthink it. So there'll be a message um, with the card underneath the stone. Okay, so just take one quick minute. It's usually exactly the first one that you look at. So it's this stone, this is the Sputnik, and then the Angelite, which is in a heart shape, and I think this is called a banded amethyst and it's double terminated okay all right so the message for the sputnik stone is the number 20 and it's flying okay so this is about trying to get a bird's eye view so this is looking at everything from a different view so going higher than a situation and looking at the bigger perspective and know that everything's working out for your greatest good. So sometimes if we don't have tangible items right in front of us, we don't feel like our prayers are being answered or that all these manifesting things we're doing and all these things we're working towards, you just don't see the results yet. This is a card to let you know that everything is working in perfect timing and that everything you're working towards is coming and it's a sign that you're getting everything that you're working towards. This is a really positive sign. And it's this beautiful like Pegasus, rainbow Pegasus, and it's just having fun. So it's not being so stressed out about where are you and what are you doing and what are you getting? And we're about to go into Mercury retrograde, which is tomorrow, which I'll post a video on that. And it's a good time to reflect, reevaluate. Re so this is a time to just have fun and just believe it's already happened. So use the law of attraction and saying, okay, I don't see these results, but I can feel it. If I really tap into myself, I can feel that this is, um, this is happening right now. So try to get into that perspective, okay? So if you picked the angel light, the angel light heart, you got spark. I love these cards, they're so beautiful. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, and then this is the number 34, which would be seven. Um, and sevens are good, because sevens are like progressing to what you want. So spark is about listening to that intuition, listening to the signs that show up. It's getting a spark of creativity. It's getting a spark when you meet someone. It can e even mean a new relationship. So chemistry is everything, it really is. You can look good on paper with someone, but if you don't have the chemistry, it's only gonna go so far. So this is a good relationship card as well. If, you're if you just met someone, you're like, wow, there's something there. There's something that's, um, I can't even explain it. That's what this card is saying. Yep, there is something there. It's also about creativity though. So say you're like, I don't know where to go. Everything is changing right now. No one knows what's gonna happen. And just as we were starting to have the coronavirus go down, it's now spiking again, which is understandable. But you know, no one really knows what's gonna happen to business, how business is changing, how businesses all around the world are changing. So, you know, take your time and you know, pay attention to what really is just like a little jolt for you. Don't don't just dismiss it. So if you feel like, wow, I wanna paint a painting today, go paint a painting. Or if you smell the ocean, you're like, where is that coming from? Go to the ocean. So this is, this is a sign to say, watch the signs, pay attention to the signs, and make sure that you're following whatever sparks are coming to you because that's getting you to the path that you need. And it's getting you to this new new that is what we're all going through, okay? Okay, and then the, the banded amethyst double terminated. And this is Ghostland. So it looks like a kind of scary card, but I'm gonna walk you through it. 
because sometimes the scariest cards are the best ones for us to um, get moving and get get to a new place. So this is the number 17 and we added up so that'd be the number eight and eight's one of my favorite numbers. It always has been. I was so excited when I was actually the age eight and I kept writing the number eight. Um, and then there was like a cartoon that the girl was ice skating eight. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I just always love that number. But it's a prosperity number. It's about abundance. It's about a lot of things coming. So Ghostland is about, it's actually about you're creating this ghost land. So you're focused so much on nostalgia of the past, like, oh, that was such a great time. And a lot of times, if you really think about those years that were great or these times that were great, there was also a ton of struggle there too. So it's not like there's ever not struggle. There might be a time frame that things are really just fun and great, but there's always still struggle. Um, and our nostalgia sometimes lets us forget that and we think there's so much better time in this year or whatever. And that's not the case. That's not the truth if we really think about it. And then the future, again, talking about where we are just globally, we don't know what's happening. So if you start worrying about the future right now, there's, you don't know what you're even worrying about because nothing is in place yet and everything's forming. So the strongest position that you can have is being in the present moment. And I just did a video yesterday, which you can find on my site, that talks about using um, your breath and grounding and a quick meditation to get you back into the present moment. And that is where we're the strongest. That's where we're the most in control of what's going on in our lives. That is where we are saying, okay, I'm recognizing right now, this is where I am. So I'm, I'll give you an example. So I'm in the middle of, my pool has had some issues, so it hasn't been working. So I'm in the middle of redoing it. So if I just keep thinking about the final, the final stage of the pool running and being perfect water, which chemicals are crazy, um, I'm gonna stress out, I'm gonna be overwhelmed, I'm not gonna wanna do it because I'm gonna literally like burn out my own brain. There's gonna be smoke coming from my brain because I'm gonna overanalyze everything and be really nervous about starting it. So instead, I'm like, what can I do? What's the next step that I can do? And I do this all the time with things that go on in my life. So I am a big thinker. I am a fast thinker and I'm an overthinker and I have a lot of ideas. I am an idea person. I have a lot of ideas and a lot of them are really good, but they get lost because it's so much so fast and they all kind of just get crowded. So I have to step back and go one thing at a time and that's when I'm the most successful for myself. That's when I'm the most successful in my business, in my relationships, in my friendships, in my home, in my my dependents, which are my animals. So, you know, where can you take a step back in this ghost land? And that just means this exactly that. Like you're in so many different places that aren't real. It's only real in the present moment. So you have to get yourself in a place of what is what is going on right now. So these are really powerful messages. I love. Um, all of these cards and even though Ghostland looks scary so again the spot next stone if you picked that one and go right up there so beautiful so Aragonite and I sell these as well so if you want some and you really love these stones I fall in love with stones this is my personal one I like things that are shaped like hearts um, it just looks like something from space it just looks like an alien stone and this is just that beautiful card for that and again a sign things are coming closer for you things that you're looking for and then the angelite and angelite is really great for i like Ar argonite for intuition and just connecting to a higher level and then angelite does the same thing but it's literally like listening to the guides listening to angels listening to people who have passed on that you feel are still with you like i feel like my grandmother is 100 percent with me um so this is a stone and talking about spark it's like Sometimes we get those sparks and those signs from, say, like my grandmother. Like my grandmother will help me along on my path to get me to the next stage or to get me in alignment with the things that are supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. Like help me get into the path that's the best for me. Not even thinking about fate or destiny. It's just what's going to give me a great life? What's going to give me a great year? What's going to give me a great week? You know, whatever that is. And 
it could be God, it could be whatever, but it's it's a higher level of energy than yourself that's, I believe, also a higher intelligence. Okay, and then the final one we talked about was the ghost land. And again, it's the banded, amethyst, double terminated, which means there's points on either end. It's just a really pretty stone. It was a gift from someone, so I really like it. And again, I mean, this card is just... It has all these clocks on it. It has astrological signs, which are time. And this is a perfect card to get lost in the present moment because we're about to go into the Mercury retrograde and it'll be about, it's about 20 days, three weeks. And it's about just stepping back and getting a different perspective. So this is a perfect time to do that. And so don't be scared if you picked the <laughs> amethyst. And amethyst means you know, harmony, it's a, it's the sober stone, it's a sobriety, it's clarity, it's um, having a nice harmonious home, it's about having things really stable, but you have to be stable in your emotions first. So that's not saying don't express your emotions, because if you hold things in, that turns into illness. So you want to express whatever's going on with you, whether it's anger or sadness or scared, and then get past it and take action. So even if you're working with the law of attraction, there's a lot of videos that I remember watching from the law of attraction or listening to that were like, if you don't really feel like doing anything, go back to bed. And I don't agree with that. I think you have to be taking action. Even if it's just watching videos on the days that I'm like, I don't really know what to do. I'll learn, I'll read a book, I'll talk to someone who knows about the subject I'm interested in. I'll network, I'll do whatever, and if you're not as extroverted, you know, go search the web. Just be more introverted and get your get your place in whatever action that is for you. Get that energy moving. So hopefully these were great for you, and I love them. And um, if you want a private reading, you can message me here or find me at, I'll put the link down below, but Donna at divineinhalehealing.com, like divine, inhale healing.com also you can follow me for readings like this on my divine inhale page on facebook which it's been having a little problem so i'm not <laughs> surprised it's retro mercury retrograde um also you can find me on D donna divine inhale for instagram and i have a private group on facebook that you have to join and if you join and you tell me you are from here then i'll um, add you and that is seeker dash divine inhale. So yay, this was great. And I hope that you enjoyed these cards as much as I did and the stones, um, two of my favorite things. And if you need more insights and you wanna further your reading, um, reach out to me and we can schedule a session. Thank you so much and follow me, subscribe here and share. And let me know that you shared because I'm gonna be doing all kinds of raffles coming up. So you'll be in those. Thank you, have a great day, bye.